shadow boxing is great, but it can get a little bit boring. So one thing you can do is what many fighters do is visualization. Visualize that you've got someone in front of you. It could be a taller opponent, a shorter opponent, a southpaw, someone you just don't like. Uh, visualize that person in front of you, and that's going to really help you with the shadow boxing. Help you thinking about defense, thinking about offense, helping you get into better habits. So for example, if I've got someone shorter in front of me, I'm gonna visualize someone like Mike Tyson, who's coming forward like this, trying to get his feet close to me to throw the big bombs. What I've gotta do is move my feet and keep it long. So I'll be moving, 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 throwing the long punches. Feet in one way, going the other way. The big thing that you should be doing if you're fighting a shorter opponent and they've got you on the back foot is feet to go one way, feet the other way, and then move, get off. Keep it long. Feint, 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 then punch. Well, now we can reverse the rules. Now I'm fighting someone taller than me. Now, I've, now I'm the short guy. I've got to try and get my feet closer to him to throw the punches. So, and cut the ring down. So, if I'm moving, moving forward, moving forward, moving my head all the time, moving my head all the time, I've got to try and get him on the ropes. And then once I get him on the ropes, I've got to work. So you've got to cut the ring down to get him onto the ropes. I'm moving around. He goes that way, I step across. Goes that way, step across. Get him into the corner. Work, keep him in the corner. Work, keep him in the corner. So, that's another way. Visualization in shadow boxing is massive. Not just for fighters, but boxing for fitness as well. It's really going to help you improve your game, improve your defense, improve your footwork, your punches, your fitness, your cardio, your breathing, everything. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I will answer.